बट वेर एज रोबोटिक सर्जरी दिस इज फिक्स दिस डजन मूव फलक्रम एंड पार्ट ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच इज लाइक रिस्ट लाइक इट इज मुविंग सो देर इज लेस टिश्यू ट्रॉमा टू द एबडोम सो अवर पेशेंट्स ऑफ लाइक इवन आफ्टर कॉम्प्लेक्स सर्जरी दे आर सिटिंग अप इन फोर फाइव आवर्स दे आर वॉकिंग बाय सींग आवर पेशेंट्स दे आर नॉट कमिंग एंड दे आर डिमांडिंग फॉर दे आर डिमांडिंग रोबोटिक सर्जरी इवन फॉर सिंपल प्रोसेस लाइक कोलेसिस्टेटर Hello and warm welcome to Medsana's podcast series where we bring you insightful conversation with leading experts in medical field. Hi, I'm your host Dr. Smarika Bhat and today I'm honored to have a podcast interview with Dr. Shrikant Kulhari with us. Dr. Shrikant Kulhari is a distinguished laparoscopic robotic and GI surgeon from Pune. With over a decade of experience and leadership role at KK Multi-Speciality Hospital and KK Care Hospital Pune. Yeah, I'm also excited to be part of this podcast. Without further ado, we'll start with our first question with Dr. Shikan Kulare with us. Extensive experience of in GI surgery. How do you compare the robotic surgeries with GI and normal procedures? Okay, so I started my laparoscopic surgery career very long back in uh, 2007, and I am performing laparoscopic surgery till then, till now. Uh, robotic surgery, being the recent introduction, uh, robo- robotic surgery is. recently introduced in india in big way and last couple of years i am doing robotically as well all procedure robotically so what is the major difference is uh, major, there are distinct advantages of robotic surgery over laparoscopy first thing is like what vision we get in laparoscopy is 2d and even 3d laparoscopy systems are there but they are not truth 3d they are like they are uh, we have to wear goggles and then on screen we get to see 3d but in robotic surgery when we sit on the console and we see we get a true binocular three dimensional view so depth perception is more then we it is 10 times magnified and clarity is much much better than laparoscopy so once we see the better uh, like once we have better visibility our precision increases then second distinct advantage is laparoscopy instruments they have certain degree of movements like they can open and close they can rotate they can go up and down okay. okay whereas if you compare robotic in, uh, instruments they have got 7 degrees of freedom what are 7 degrees of freedom like it can move like wrist like it can rotate so that gives us flexibility in performing complex procedure another point is ki when i am performing see like i am laparoscopic surgeon i trained myself to be bidextrous so i can do with both hands but every surgeon may not be bidextrous but when you are doing robotically we control both movements with our con- on console with our fingers so with same precision any surgeon can do effectively so even ordinary surgeon can become bidextrous with robotically so these are distinct advantages over the laparoscopy okay that was a fantastic answer so let's move on to the next question we talk about the learning curve so how difficult it is or they talk about how it is challenging to uh, turn into a robotic surgeon so what's your take on it so what i feel ki uh, laparoscopic surgery really takes uh, like good amount of time to be expert but if you are doing laparoscopic surgery for longer period then learning robotic surgery is was quick easy for us and what happens there are various robotic technology or various robotic platforms so they have got robust pre clinical training programs like we will be doing lot of uh, console training where we will be artificial intelligence enabled modules are there which enables us to master the hand movements on robotic then uh, like i did a structure fellowship for one year where i was involved in cadaver program then we were uh, asked to visit the center of excellence and where we assisted many procedures and after that we completed uh, our fellowship exam after complete uh, like duly uh, giving theory exams and viva exams so that structure fellowship really helped me to take the expertise but as compared to laparoscopy uh, learning robotic surgery is much easier okay so that was uh, perfectly explained about the different differences so uh, let's move on to the next phase uh, as you are a gi surgeon so what kind of uh, benefits you get out of from robotic surgery what kind of procedures you get help from 
this is very perfect and apt questions because there is a dilemma in medical community all, all, always because there is a little bit extra cost involved in robotic surgery so always medical fraternity is comparing like what are the advantages then only we should offer to the patient so what i feel ki currently we can do all the gi procedures uh, robotically but there are certain procedures where i feel ki there is a distinct advantage where there is lot of suturing is involved so we have trained over the period of times and similarly we can do laparoscopic laparoscopically suturing as well but if like surgeon who is not well versed with laparoscopy and is struggling mm-hmm. robotic will definitely help surgeon to do the suturing easily robotically mm-hmm. so in that procedure uh, i think robot has definitely uh, robotic surgery should be preferred in certain cases Okay. simple procedure like cholecystectomy and appendicectomy mm-hmm. or simple hernias so i don't feel ki there is any role right now mm-hmm. but uh, patients are demanding and if they are affording we are offering but mm-hmm. from heart if we say then i think robotic surgery should be resort reserved only for complex cancer surgeries or complex gi surgery mm. so as you have touched upon the cost part of this surgery so as we know that indian healthcare system doesn't uh, really uh, support this uh, robotic surgery to every uh, uh, what you call it institute or if not every indian uh, doctors want to pursue this uh, surgery but if you want to show uh, tell the audience about the significance of uh, uh, robotic surgery how you will justify the robotic surgery cost yeah so that is the dilemma because when we talk about uh, robotic system the dominant robotic system or the best possible robotic system right now what we are using is da vinci and there is a disposable the instruments cannot be used beyond certain use so one instrument we can use only for maximum 10 cases so we have to dispose it after that so there is a definitely cost difference patient has to pay around 1.5 to 1.75 lakh which is extra for the robotic surgery so definitely the when the complex procedures were well, like cancer surgeries like when patients are being required or when where precision is required for that or complex hernia where like either we uh, which are difficult to do laparoscopically or there is, or when, if you are trying to do it laparoscopically there is a conver- chances of converting it to open is high in that case robotic surgery is definitely helpful but what happens generally whenever uh, robotics some surgeon is coming into the robotic training program or robotic surgery program he is advised to do simple procedure first mm-hmm. so if you see that sur- some surgeons who for the affording patients they are offering cholecystectomies or hernia mm-hmm. for for their learning core and for because for that some certain advantage to the patient as well if patient is affording mm-hmm. but as you progress most of the surgeons generally they are offering for indian patients mm-hmm. for uh, cancer surgeries complex gi surgeries complex or big hernias mm-hmm. and bariatric surgery mm-hmm. definitely in that case there is a role so um, the benefits or you can say the results of robotic surgeries are uh, justified with the cost means uh, their success rate is good as compared to the normal procedure yes there are def- definitely distinct advantages initially when i started i was also bothered about the cost and all that but if you see the outcome of the patient a patient can get up like it is very uh, uh, like it was i was surprised because laparoscopy also we do with small holes and robotic surgery is also done with a small hole but there is a distinct advantages with pain score and patient mobility okay. what happens ki like suppose this is abdominal wall and there is hole so laparoscopic uh, instrument move here so that causes some trauma and some pain but whereas robotic surgery this is fixed this doesn't move fulcrum and part of the instrument which is like wrist like it is moving so there is less tissue trauma to the abdomen so our patients of like even after complex surgery they are sitting up in 4 5 hours they are walking so it is definitely uh, advantages if patient is affording or if it is covered by insurances okay. health insurance Okay, so the recovery rate is faster. Faster, patient pain scores and patient generally now what what I am experiencing ki even if there is no no insurance cover, patients are coming and they are opting for robotic surgery mm-hmm. after paying huge money like whatever the difference na patients are opting because they are seeing result of other patients. So there is some segment which is fearful for the pain and complication of surgery and which is not ready to undergo surgery by seeing our patients. 
they are not coming and they are demanding for uh, they are demanding robotic surgery even for simple procedure like cholecystectomy yeah. so last month i operated my auntie who is sitting on with a problem of gallstone for last 4 5 years and she was scared but when she uh, had in, in uh, like interaction with one of the my, one of my patients who was cancer patient and she got recovery very faster she came to me and she said ki she wants robotic surgery so definitely patients are patients are demanding and there is a future for robotic surgery in india okay so thank you dr shikan that was really a very insightful regarding the robotic surgery so we'll move on to the next question is as a lot of patients come to you so do you do any specific kind of technical modification for different kind of patients in robotic surgeries yeah so generally uh, so that is a training part generally what what holes we make in laparoscopy they are different Uh, than the robotic surgery so robotic surgery port position is very important and that is being like that is what tr- uh, we require training for mm-hmm. rest part is easy so we need to plan the surgery there are certain like generally what happens laparoscopy we can go near the organ and put ports but generally robotic instruments are longer so we have to make sure that we are at least 18 to 20 cm away from the target or- organ so we have to make certain modifications in the ot environment also patient position is different anesthesia implications are different and generally what happens laparoscopic surgery my assistant is with me and i am doing surgery and he is holding camera when we sit on robotic surgery we are sitting on the console we are away from the patient so we need require very expert team in robotic surgery who is equally capable like a primary surgeon and who will be on patient side so generally we perform as a team so we have got three people uh, in our team and one one will be on patient side and one will be on uh, sitting on the console so generally if i am sitting on the console person with the similar expertise will be on patient side mm-hmm. so that is another advantage mm-hmm. like generally what happens if any surgeon is doing one surgeon is superior and one is assistant will be operating in robotic surgery two capable surgeons are there in the or so that is that increases the safety double So as we go with previous background of all your experiences so I have seen that ICG Florence imaging you have done in the past so how can uh, so in what ways that ICG Florence has helped in the procedures so ICG fluorescence has helped tremendously for us like uh, ICG we are using very common in robotic surgery mm-hmm. like gallbladder surgeries we give 2 hours prior mm-hmm. so that when we put icg mode on we can see the bile duct safely mm-hmm. clearly yeah. so we keep away from the bile duct when we are cholecystectomy mm-hmm. if we are doing any surgery if we give one minute prior icg we can see the uh, all arterial blood system okay. so we can keep away from the vessels when we are dissecting mm-hmm. in cancer surgeries particularly when there is a resection of the intestine involved mm-hmm. before reconstruction we can see give the contrast and we see whether it is vascular or not so that has uh, like we have got uh, certain scientific papers also on that mm-hmm. and we have like whatever uh, research has said almost 30% of the patients when we have used icg the decision has changed mm-hmm. like some like vascularity is not, not good so we can revise and put so definitely with icg mm-hmm. safety has increased mm-hmm. another thing another use in uh, uh, like when we are doing pelvic surgery we can put icg contrast in the ureter and so when we are dissecting we can see the ureter nicely when we are doing fluorescence guided surgery mm-hmm. and we can protect the structure so basically icg what hel- helps us to identify the mm-hmm. normal structures away from the disease okay. so injury to the normal structures like vascular injuries or ureter injury mm-hmm. or even pelvic nerves like when we are doing uh, robotic pelvic surgeries the pelvic nerve we can identify better so the uh, if we preserve them the bladder function and sexual function is preserved in the patient so basically quality of life of the patient post surgery will be more better much better with the robotic surgery okay thank you so much for joining in today those answers were really um, insightful for our audience i'm sure our audience will have a good benefit out of it and thank you to our viewers for tuning in and remember if you are a healthcare professional who is eager to delve deeper into medical topics or have questions do not hesitate us to join on medicinas platform medicinas platform is not just a resource it's a dynamic space where you can connect with your medical peers or participate in meaningful discussions and contribute to the ongoing evolution of healthcare So until next time take care